but yet philosophy in Lexus is the very heart and the mindset of the creative strategy behind Lexus. And it's about this combination of fusing seemingly incompatible creative processes. You know, everything from the cast glass internally on the door sills to the, the way that the LEDs are incorporated into the brake lights. And that this year in semi-permanent, some of the artists here are really touching on some of those poetic manufacturing moments. The taillights of the car have two mirrors where there's a, a sort of a two-way mirror on one side and then a full mirror on the back. When you look through it, it, it creates a sort of repeated reflection and we mirrored that in our installation using two massive mirror sheets. I think it's given us the opportunity to kind of create something that we'd never be able to make. It's kind of allowed us to show off work that we really love to make. Kinetic is about air and flow. It's a visual representation of how air travels around the LC500. Um, and we've done this through having a kinetic canvas that creates patterns. So we want to create a bit of curiosity. And not only do we want audiences to view it from the front, but we invite them to look behind. And similarly, that kind of ties back to the Lexus because you've got all these moving parts that are inside the car, this hidden artistry that you don't see from the outside. And so it's like we're inviting people to look underneath the car, I guess. <laughs> look underneath the artwork. So I've created a, an immersive sound environment. So I really showcase the sound system that's in the car, which is pretty impressive. It's a big sort of surround sound system that has 17 channels. The sound of the engine itself was kind of the catalyst for the piece in that the, the recording of the car ended up being incorporated into the piece itself. The inspiration behind the sculpture is based on hidden artistry, which is part of the Takumi process. You know, it's what I've tried to create is not so much a sculpture, but what, what the sculpture pertains to and what it leaves with shadow. It's a uh, mild steel cut with a grinder, held with my hands and then um, welded, put back together and finished by hand basically. It's, you know, it's an industrial product using industrial tools but built by hand.